Oh my days. We've made it guys. What is up guys, so today I am on my way to a huge abandoned hospital. I haven't actually seen any photos from the inside yet, so I have no idea what it's like. Hopefully we're about to find out. Let's go guys. So guys, we're about five minutes away from the site. Um, I can see it now, but the camera won't be able to pick it up, so I'll show you in a minute. It looks absolutely huge. That building at the end of the road is the hospital, so let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna walk around the site and see if I can find an easy way in. There's definitely security because there's cars parked around there, so we'll see how this goes. That was a lot easier than I expected. Anyway, let's start exploring. I'm literally just randomly walking around, seeing what I find. Because this place is so big. That's pretty cool. What? That is insane. That's unbelievable. There's literally pictures up on the wall. Still left behind. The place is full of surprises too. Within just a few minutes of entering the site, the explorer came very close to going wrong as security entered the building. I headed to the top of the building and decided to start from there, hoping that security would stay on the ground floor. So all of these down here were the children's wards. Unfortunately, it looks like all the wards have been emptied out. So apparently this is one of the emergency rooms, but it's quite hard to tell now. It kind of looks like a room you'd go into at the doctor's. I have no idea what that fridge is though. I actually have no idea what that is. Well, we found another updating theatre here, guys. This one's quite nice. It's in good condition. This is the old control room, I'm guessing. You can see both of the lights from in here. That's quite cool. Well, there's an old syringe thing down there. After covering the first building, I carefully headed into the next one, and again, access was fairly easy. These corridors seem to go on further. And there's so many floors too. This place is huge. So that way, I think, is where the church is. This building is a lot more damaged than the other one that I just explored. This is pretty cool, but it's not the chapel that I'm looking for. Guys, 
There it is. Now we need to go down the floor, down there, and then somehow find the right way in. Those gardens down there are so nice. And they don't really look like they've been abandoned for that long. It's locked up. So guys, it turns out the church is locked, but I'm going to keep exploring and try and find another way in. Oh wow, so here's one of the old reception rooms. It's actually quite big as well. Not really surprised though, when you see how big the hospital is. There's actually an old map on the floor there. Well, there's actually a desk here with some of the old documents on it. That's pretty neat. Guys, I think we found a way into the church. Oh my days. We've made it guys. This is incredible guys. Wow. And here's the old organ. That's neat. Just look how much detail has gone into this place, guys. It's incredible. I wonder where this goes. Might as well give it a look. Creepy. I have no idea what this was used for. This is weird. This feels like I'm in a horror movie or something. Yeah, let's get out of here guys. And we are back to safety guys. Just look at this place. The amount of detail here is just amazing. At this point, another plot twist arrived. A security, this time along with a dog, came into the church.
To avoid being spotted this late on, I headed off instantly and went into another building, the final part of the hospital. So guys, I was in the church and as I looked down, two guys walked in with a dog. It's definitely got to be security, so I'm going to have to keep a low profile now. Midway through this explore, and again whilst taking photos, I noticed security right at the end of one of the corridors, but this time they spotted me. So I ran off and headed into the basement, hoping it would be the last place they'd look for me. So the security guys are still tailing me, I'm going to have to get out of here as soon as I can. There's some cool stuff down here but I've really got no time to stop. There's some weird stuff down here guys, but right now all I want is a way out. This is so, so, so dodgy. And now I found the knife. <laughs> Guys, there's a way out. That is my cue to leave. Oh, this day has been absolutely mental. We have finally made it out of sight. It's going dark, but I'm not even bothered now. I was hoping to go to an abandoned theme park as well today, but I might have to try that tomorrow. I only have two days left in Milan, and I'm heading off down south to Rome. I've got a few places lined up there, but stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to film every single one of them. Anyway, I think that's the end of this explore. I hope that's the end of this explore. So, guys, I hope I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>